friends. Here I am over here. It's good to see you. We have a new chapter or beginning a new chapter in in our uh, language arts. And it's called um, Every Story Has Ch Characters. So every story that you read has characters in it. And each of those characters are different in some way. So I think this is probably Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. This looks like the three little pigs. Here's Humpty Dumpty. They sat on the wall. Perhaps you know that one. And this Pinocchio. Sometimes, some of you know it from a Disney movie. Well, we're going to read a story today. It's a fable called The Tortoise and the Hare. And even your parents are familiar with it. And I'm going to ask you about the characters. So there are two main characters in this story. So let's get that started. The Tortoise and the Hare. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, you can see it all right. Once there was a hare. What is a hare? A hare is like a bunny, but has long ears and a longer, longer legs. That's what you'll need to know. Once there was a hare who was always talking about how fast he could run. I'm so speedy, he bragged. Oh, that's a big word, bragged. It's kind of like a bully. To the other animals, I challenge any one of you to beat me in a race. Tortoise which is a very large turtle and doesn't need to stay in water, spoke up. I accept your challenge. I will race you, she said. You, Hare laughed. What a good joke. You'll never beat me. I'll show you. On your mark, get set, go, shouted the other animals. Tortoise and Hare were off. There's the Hare. Here's Tortoise. Looks like the hare is off to a fast start. Soon, hare left tortoise far behind. Oh, I have plenty of time to beat that slowpoke, he thought. I'll stop and take a nap. He stretched out on the side of the road. He even has his thumb in his mouth. There's tortoise. Meanwhile, tortoise plodded along, slowly putting one foot in front of the other, as tortoises do. Finally, Hare woke up and dashed towards the finish line. When he got there, tortoise was calmly waiting for him. How can you be the winner? shrieked Hare, and he stomped his foot. I may be slow, said tortoise, but I always try hard to do my best. Well, good for tortoise. He won. Let me ask you this. Who were the two characters? I'm listening. Yep, 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 yep. yep yes, it's a hare. Kind of looks like a rabbit, but longer ears, longer legs. Yeah, and the other one is? Yes, it's a tortoise. Tortoise, bigger turtle, can live a long time. Doesn't need to stay in water. So the tortoise and the hare. Right, and what did they do? Right, they wanted to race. They didn't actually, I think more hair wanted a race. And tortoise said, okay. So there was the tortoise and the hair. And you're, I would like you to tell me which, I'm leaning into the machine, which one you liked better. Did you like the tortoise or the hair better? Hmm. Some people like the tortoise because they take their time. Some people like the hair because they get things done quickly. I have this paper, and here's your two sight words. Here's the word hare, here's the word tortoise. Write one of them, and then try to tell me, either by drawing or writing just the first sound, why you like that character. I'm sure there's a reason. And we're gonna read that story again tomorrow and talk about something else in the story. You also have this, where you're making plurals of a noun. Remember we talked about plurals? You're, magic, you're adding that magic S. So dog becomes dogs. Good for you. So I have three words there. See if you can tap those out. If not, you know, just to write it in S. This says, oh, I can't tell you what it says. It's sight words, so you know what it is. But they would like you to write the first sound that you hear in this picture. Read that. What's the first sound? Write it here. Read that. What's the first sound in that picture? Write it there. Read this. What's the first sound of this animal, which is an alligator? Do you hear? Write, write that letter right there. And one of the fun things you're going to do 
is you're going to walk through your house and see if you can find any words that start with a m sound or any words that start with an a ah sound. Do you have to find all 12? No, I don't know what's in your house. Well, some of you, because I have visited your homes, but just find a few if you can. If you know how to write words, try to write them. Get the first sound. We all know the first sound is a m or an uh, right? If you know the ending sound, that'd be great. You can also draw a picture on the line. Say you found a mouse. Oh, I hope you don't have a mouse in your house. Draw a picture of a mouse if you don't know how to spell it or if you don't want to. Do you need to have all 12 on each side? No. No. Do a few on each side. If you want to do all 12 and you have 12, then go for it. Again, we're talking about characters and stories through our unit in language arts. And we just read the fable, The Tortoise and the Hare. And we're going to talk about it again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.